Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today our special topic is word formation. What is word formation and how the words are formed in our English language? Let us know today. The study of the purposeful parts of a word is known as morphology. That is the study of parts of the word. So morphology is a branch which is related to the study of the purposeful parts of a word. The study looks towards affixation as a way of word formation. Affixation plays a crucial role in the word formation. In order to see the meanings of letters added at the beginning or at the end of the words and to look within the changes words meet with when affixes are joined to them. Affixes are the crucial parts which play a crucial role in the formation of words. Let us know what are affixes. Affixes also play an indispensable role in linguistic efficiency in most of the languages as most affixes occur in various situations. Uh, affixes occur in various situations as we all see in our uh, various languages and different languages. So these affixes play various uh, roles in various situations and these combines with original stems to express new views and ideas. For example, as we take darkness, kindness, brightness, oneness, these are all the examples of these affixes. Here we add NESS to the root that is the stem of the word that is here, dark, kind, bright, one, etc. Okay. Affixes modify the meaning and the linguistic class of their stem in multiple ways. Okay. They form many words from the original stem. So, let us now know what is an affix. An affix is a morpheme. That is, here the study of these all morphemes is known as morphology. And these parts are known as morphemes. So, affix is a, a part. So, affix is a morpheme that is attached before or after or within to the word stem to form a new word. Affix is a grammatical part that is combined with a word stem or phrase to create copied and modified forms. So, most of the English words are made up of the base word. This is known as the root which contains the heart or the meaning of the word. Okay. The affix which is added at the beginning of the root is known as the prefix. Pre means before and fix. We fix that word before. So called as prefix. While at the end of the word is suffix. After that word. At the end of the word is known as suffix. These two prefixes and suffix both commonly called as affix. The process of attaching these affixes is referred to as affixation. This process is known as affixation. So, the study of the purposeful parts of a word is known as morphology and these purposeful parts are known as morphemes and affix is a morpheme that is attached before or after or within to the word or word stem to form a new word. And these affixes are of two types that is prefix and Suffix. Prefix is a word attached before the root and the suffix is a word attached at the end of the root word. Okay. What is an affix? The root is a key to build new words. For example, let us take one word advantage. If we add prefix as dis, it forms as disadvantage. That is, it is uh, the opposite of the root word advantage disadvantage and if we add suffix ous to that disadvantage word we form a we can get a new word that is disadvantageous okay affixes are divided into several categories prefixes infixes circumfix and suffixes prefix and suffix are extremely common terms which occur at the beginning and at the end of the word step okay infix and circumfix are less so Okay, infix occur in the middle and these are not important in these all European languages, somewhat less important. The four most common prefixes are dis, in, re and an. 
okay for example let us use all these prefixes example sub standard standard is the word and sub is the prefix submit unwilling willing unwilling pre cooked pre determined most common suffixes also let us look on most common suffixes the four most common suffixes are ed ing ly and es hopefully happiness wonderful dependent action and now let us move on to the kinds of affixes affixes are divided into many categories depending on the position while prefix and suffix are extremely common terms okay these are the two common terms of affixes the other terms are uncommon as such as prefix prefix means occurs at the beginning of the word, root word for example unhappy suffix it occurs at the end of the root word that is happiness ness ness is a suffix infix occurs inside the root and circumfix occur in two parts on both outer edges of a root word okay these are about the kinds of affixes and examples of affixes here are some examples of affixes that is incapable the affix is a prefix in here ex president the affix is a prefix ex here laughing the affix is a suffix here ing is a suffix so these are about the affixes prefixes and suffixes let us now move on to the some prefixes first one is neo n e o means new or recent neo latin that is modern latin neoplasm new or abnormal growth of tissue and next one is proto this means pro means first or original or principal protagonist means meaning chief character in a story protocol system of rules governing formal occasions protoplasm essential living matter of plants and animals next prefix is trans trans means across or over or through transcribe means write out in another form transfer move from one place to another next one is retro retro means backward or behind retrogression retrogression means the opposite of progression progression means moving forward and retrogression means moving backward retrospect looking back on the past event or situation we re retrospect in the in some novels the retrospection is the um, story the story in form of retrospection circum means circum around circumference the distance around circumstances condition of fact connected with an event or action the sixth one is intro means intra or into or within introduction that leads into the report or study or um, that leads into the lesson as we can say and introspect introspect means examine or concerned with one's own thoughts feelings and motives as we introspect ourselves that is study examining ourselves introvert is a person who is more interested in his own thoughts and feelings than things outside himself he don't move to uh, he don't think of others he only thinks and he, uh, he is a introvert and inter means in between or among and next prefix is macro means long or large macroscopic something that is visible to the naked eye by using this one okay and next one is micro as a micro is opposite to macro as macro says that longer large 
Micro is small or little. Microscopic. Something that is too small to see without using a microscope. Next one is Tele. For off or at or over from a distance. Telecommunication. Communication by capable telegraph. Mm, telephone, radio, television etc. Television means process of transmitting and reproducing on screen. Events, scenes, pictures, sounds, using signals. Next one is photo. Photo is related to light. And a light or produced by a light. Photosynthesis that is reacting when exposed to light. It is a process of preparing food by means of plants. Next one is spec. Spec is look at. Spec means looking at. Spectrum, visible light waves, spectator, person who watches, especially a show or game. Okay. Sun, S-O-N, Sun is related to sonic, that is related to sounds. Sonic, having to do with sound, sonar device for detaching objects or um, under water by means of uh, sound waves. So, these are some of the prefixes. And mega means one million or large, meta, changed or after, beyond or higher, antecedent, anti, 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 against, anti means against or opposite, opposite to auto, self, autobiography, automatic, auto start, automobile, means this, this means it is used in opposite, that is not, disarm, disinterested. Disintegrated, etc. X X is used as out, remove from former X minister, except extinguish. That is already it was there. Now it is extinguishing. And next, miss, mistake, bad or unfavorable, misunderstanding, mislead, misjudge. Next one is over, overact. Beyond beyond that uh, normal action, that is overact, overtake, overflow. These are some of the prefixes. And now moving on to the suffixes. And suffixes first one is able use it to turn words into adjectives. Okay, avail plus able, available, predictable, dependable, excitable, desirable, justiciable, uh, practicable. Man is will. These are all, uh, by using able, use it to turn words into adjectives. I be able. I will use it to turn words into adjectives. It it is also used to turn words into adjectives. Collectible, suggestible, defensible, forcible, resistible, collapsible. These are some of the examples. C E E D is also a suffix which means to go, exceed. To surpass or outdo. Proceed. To go on after stopping. Succeed. Follow or to come after. C-E-D-E. To surrender formally. Antecede. To go before in rank, time, place, etc. Intercede. To mediate on behalf of another. These are some suffixes. And... Let us move on to some other suffixes which we uh, use daily. A, Z, E. Use it to form nouns, dryness, teenage, engage, marriage, leggage, percentage, package, breakage, leakage, old age, etc. Uh, I, O, N. Use it to form nouns, suggestion, collection, production, election, selection, erection, correction, etc. Full used to form adjectives, joyful, beautiful, dutiful, playful, careful, cheerful, painful, etc. I-A-N used to form adjectives and nouns. Indian, electrician, musician, magician, etc. So, these are some of the prefixes and suffixes. I will give you one table of content of prefixes and suffixes. Normally, used prefixes and suffixes. Okay, this is all about the 
prefixes and suffixes hope all of you like my video and this is the formation of words that is morphology if you like my video please do share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching